Yo, what's up, YouTube boxing community? This is the Boxing Jay. Right here with a video. Been having a long week, man. Been busy, man, at school, at work. Fuck. So, just. I know I've been wanting to make this video, but I was like, man, fuck, I'll just do it tonight before I knock out. Um. Just wanted to make a post fight video on uh, Martinez versus Barker. Um, obviously, I think it showed that Martinez is a vulnerable boxer. It definitely showed, in my opinion, a guy that makes a fast, strong jab can defeat Sergio Martinez. A fast, nice, crisp jab. That's all you need to beat Sergio Martinez. Now, <clears throat> with a good defense because he relies on you missing while his hands are down to counter. That's his tactic. Now, I guess it also shows that Sergio Martinez is a small welterweight. In my opinion, I actually thought Sergio Martinez could pull off 168. After, with Barker, I was like, this dude's gonna get knocked the fuck out at 168. You know, he's only 5'10. Um, he came into the weigh in at 158. The limit is 160. I think it shows up. Uh, that Sergio Martinez could make 154 if he wanted to. Now, regarding the fight, the first round, Sergio Martinez seemed okay. You know, it was going hand in hand, but Sergio Martinez, you knew he was the um, <clears throat> taking control. First off, second round, it kind of went. Wasn't going Sergio's way. Darren Barker, you can show his long arm length. Even if he missed, he just went back a little bit. And Sergio Martinez wouldn't reach him. He wouldn't be able to counter him. Because all he had to do is take two to three steps back after he jabbed. When Sergio Martinez has his hands down, he'll try to counter you when you miss. But with Darren Barker, he had a really nice, nice arms. To keep a good defense, you jab, miss, keep the defense, walk back until Joe Martinez would miss because his arm length wasn't that big. Um, <clears throat> I honestly think that from three round three on all the way till about eight or nine, those rounds are pretty much up for grabs. You know, Sergio Martinez was the busier fighter. He threw more and he landed more. Um, Darren Barker just needed a little bit more to get through. You can tell towards the end of the fight. I really wasn't paying attention to Darren Barker's eye, but I believe it was his left eye, if I'm not mistaken, that was swollen. You know, the, it looked like um, <clears throat> at the end of the fight, his eye would have been completely shut. But um, it shows that, I mean, it was surprising. I honestly did not think the fight was going to go this way. Um, everybody thought this would be a shutout. But, I mean, this is boxing, you know. Um, I'm 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 pretty damn sure that drove Darren Barker so much more drive to try and beat Sergio Martinez. You know he had a nice jab and his defense was okay. Um, I don't know about the knockout on round eleven. I really don't. I don't know if it was because he was hit behind the head. Because if you really go back and watch it, uh, Sergio Mar uh, Darren Barker's hand blocked the shot, and it kind of hit Sergio Martinez's hand went 
behind the ear. The, the uh, punch landed behind the ear. And this is a very vulnerable spot. All this area right here, behind the ear. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if that was what made him drop that way. The commentators on HBO were saying maybe it was the volume of punches that were going in. The accumulation of punches. Um, but it looked like he just dropped down. His knees didn't buckle. He just got the punch, dropped his knees, and went down. I did, wasn't punched. I don't know what really happened. But I think that Darren Barker didn't want to get back up. Uh, it's my, my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I do believe that punch was illegal um at the end of the day I'm I think Sergio Martinez would have still won this is not to take any credit away from him because I, in boxing I believe in the end of the day the best fighter wins even if there were illegal punches or not they always win but when there's a fairer hand in, in judges, you know. But I don't know. I mean, where does Sergio Martinez go from here? Um, I honestly don't think he can. He, I think he'll drain himself to 150. I don't think he can make 150 at all. 154 would be good. I mean, he could fight. I mean, I honestly think. If Col when Cotto fights Margarito, I think Cotto is going to beat Margarito. Even if Margarito loses, I still think Sergio Martinez should consider that fight and take that fight. Because that fight will bring in more fans from, uh, from the Mexican fans. Because all Mexicans are going to see Sir, uh, Mar Margarito fight. He can gain those fans under him you know if there's an opportunity to build more fans go out and get them because fights happen with your fan base you know they are the ones that request the fights so if he can't get Cotto he should get Margarito and you know he should tell Cotto hey let's fight at 155 let's put my belt at stake no, um, but I don't know if Cotto would do that. I I don't think Cotto would never go over one fifty four. He he's pretty small. He was he is a small junior welterweight. First off, um, but if it doesn't happen, I mean, let's see Margarito. But <clears throat> other than that, I mean, there really aren't any options out there for him. I really don't think he'll fight. Mayweather or Pacquiao, even if even if he can go down to 150. But we'll see what happens. It was a good fight, um, but um, Sergio Martinez did show that he was vulnerable. Vulnerable, but vulnerable. Fuck, I don't even know how to fucking say that word. Whatever. The fight was good. Oh, Andy Lee, man, looked tremendous. This guy was using his boxing science against the other guy. I forgot what his name was. He was countering him, countering him, and countering him. He was using his length. You know, there's not a lot of white people that know how to fight. I mean, I ain't trying to be racist in any way. But in boxing, there are not many white people that can put on a show like this man did. I was actually surprised the way he did it. He was a beast. But those were my quick thoughts. Um. 
be um, we should um, consider Anthony if we can't get any other fight. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, what we got? We got Hopkins coming up. No, Donaire. Chavez. I might see Chavez Jr. with the fights here in Houston. Um, peace, Boxing Day.